today we're on our uh, Mastercraft X35 2008 and just wanted to show you how we set up the DIY hot water shower. So we're gonna start here. We have a little manifold here. So this center part goes to the pump, which I'll show you in a second. And then we have our cold water and our hot water. So one of our lines we just teed in right here. This is at the back of the engine where all the pulleys are. And we just put a T in and then it goes straight out and then up into our manifold. And then here, so we have our belt running here and then there is a little block that has two pipes coming in, which come from the front of the boat. And there's where we teed in our other one to the hose to the rearward of the boat. This is on the passenger side. And then from that center hose, we come around here and it's connected to this pump. This pump is a 60 PSI, two gallon per minute, 12 volt pump. It's got an auto pressure shut off, which is really nice so that it automatically shuts itself off. So we have that set up with a ground straight to the battery and then the power wire goes through a fuse and then to a switch. So here we have our switch, our off and on switch, and then just a little fuse that we put in. The fuses, you just have to decide which one you want based off of the amperage that your pump takes. And then with the pump on, you have hot water and the pump's running. And then here, you can adjust your temperatures. So here we have hot on fully open and then cold almost almost all the way open, but about 80%. That's way we have a temperature that we like. And there we go. Now we have flowing water. So this is really nice on cold days and, and you can spray down your boat with it. But uh, if you have any more questions, just leave them down in the comments below. We'll uh, definitely be sure to get back to them. And we might end up rewiring this because there's a empty wash down switch on the dash. It would just be really convenient to have it right there. And another thing is, always want to have your boat running if you want hot water because the engine is what produces the heat. But other than that, uh, it's a pretty simple and good way to upgrade your boat.